Hi and welcome to my maths class. In this video we are going to discuss rounding off. So if I say round off to two decimal places. The first thing you need to do is you need to always count to the decimal place you want to round off to. It is advisable that you highlight it or you circle it. So, for example, if I said round off to two decimal places, 2, comma 35794 I'm going to count to two decimal places 1 2 and the number that I'm interested in is the 5 then you look to the right hand side so I'm going to look to the right of the 5 the number is 7 if I've got 0 to 4, then it's going to stay the same. But if I have 5 to 9, I'm going to add 1. So 7 falls in the category of 5 to 9. Therefore, my answer is going to be 2, 3, 6. I added 1 from 5. If I say round off to two decimal places, I'm going to highlight the 5. I'm going to look on the right hand side, but it's a 4. Now, 4 falls in the category of stay the same. So my answer would be 2, 3, 5. I didn't change the 5. I left it the same. What happens when we have to round off whole numbers? The method is the same. The only difference is you must keep your zeros. For example, if I've got 2 million 345,129 and I tell you to round off to the nearest thousand. Now, which place am I looking at? Where do I want to round off to? The nearest thousand would be the five. So when they say count to the decimal place or count to the number. I am going to round off to the nearest thousand, which is the five. I need to look on my right hand side, and the number on my right is a one, which means zero to four, my five is going to stay the same. My answer is two million three hundred and forty five thousand, but for every number after that, you have to put in a zero. You can't leave it blank. You can't do this. You can't say, hey, 2,345. If there is no zeros, it is incorrect. So remember, when you're doing whole numbers, you must keep your zeros. Thank you for watching.